Assalamu alaikum this is Aruj Nasreen and I am going to talk about Tristan and Isolde which is a three act opera by Richard Wagner it is based on 12th century romance and the main protagonist of this story are Tristan and Isolde Tristan brings Irish princess Isolde on his ship to Cornwall where she is going to marry Tristan's uncle King Mark Tristan also kills Isolde fiance Marol and uh, Isolde treats injured Tristan but she didn't know that uh, she has murdered uh, that he, Tristan has murdered Isolde's fiance uh, but when she comes to know about this fact she intended to kill Tristan but fails to do so because they both at, ta- at that time fell in love um, a jealous knight Malot he informs Tristan's uncle who is King Mark about the betrayal of Isolde and Tristan at that time Tristan chooses death for both lovers and so and Isolde accepts it Malot attacks Tristan and Tristan falls wounded King tries to pardon both the lovers but that was too late because Tristan dies at that time and she Isolde she dies upon Tristan's body in grief Uh, this opera has been a source of inspiration for a lot of writers and T.S. Eliot is one of them. So T.S. Eliot in his poem The Wasteland has presented a lot of allusions, uh, total four allusions from this uh, opera and in his first section The Burial of Death he uh, talks about Hyacinth uh, which is a reference from this opera by um, Richard Wagner. So Hyacinth is a purplish blue color which is a symbol of sensuous love and T.S. Eliot has tried to depict the love chemistry that was between Tristan and Isolde and it was presented in act 2 of this opera and he also talks about Hyacinth girl. Hyacinth girl is the one uh, who is left alone behind his lover and in the opera the Isolde who is an Irish princess she was left behind by her lover Tristan and then uh, he talks about um, in a line where he says that your arm full and your hair wet so here he um, shows the thrill of secret love after uh, between uh, between hyacinth girl and her lover so he has actually tried to present uh, the love uh, that was portrayed by uh, richard um, um, that was portrayed by richard wagner in his opera and he has tried to present the replica of that love in his poem um, the wasteland and uh, um, uh, he is um, of a view that uh, salvation can be achieved through death and the same idea is presented by uh, richard in his opera so this connection exists between the poem and the opera thank you assalamu alaikum ma'am this is ansala rape from 6b and uh, I have to present the reference of Isolde and Tristan by Wagner. Basically, it is a story of an Irish princess who is being forcefully being taken aboard a ship uh, to Cornwall and she is being the victim of a forced marriage to King Mark. Now, the characters we have are Isolde, an Irish princess, Tristan and her uncle and his uncle King Mark. Now uh, on the ship we get to know the story uh, while Isolde talks to her mate Bringane. We get to know that uh, Isolde was already uh, engaged with her fiance uh, Marold and Marold was killed by Tri- uh, Tristan on the orders of King Mark because King Mark wanted to marry Isolde. So both of them, Isolde and her mate, they were talking about Tristan and Isolde uh, just claims that she regrets her act of um, curing Tristan because when they had the fight, Marold and Tristan had a fight, it was um, Isolde that cured uh, Tristan when he came wounded, uh, in, came to her in a wounded state because she has the knowledge of herbs and magic. And at this moment, she um, regrets this thing and... Uh, her rev- her feeling of revenge and anger they are intri- intrigued or intriguing by the mocking uh, songs sung by the sailor on the ship 
while um, Tristan gets to know about this thing, this uh, feeling of revenge of Isolde, he comes to um, Isolde and gives him his sword. Okay, let's kill me. If you want to take revenge, you can kill me. But uh, Isolde now feels a bit reluctant. While on the other hand, uh, her maid, Bergane, uh, Bergane he, uh, she uh, tries to convince Isolde that there is no dishonor in marrying a king. You can marry the king. But uh, Isolde is quite a dominant uh, and she wants uh, and she wants to take revenge revenge in a sense that she wants to kill both of them both of themselves like Tristan and herself both she orders Brianne to make a death portion from her mother's recipe and um, offers Tristan a friendship drink and Fris uh, Tristan gets the clue that uh, she wants to poison both of them yet both of them drink that uh, particular portion and they were expecting death but later it was revealed that the maid she mixed a love portion instead of the death portion that love portion take us to the uh, next act act two where they are in a castle uh, and they are meeting up uh, in isolation and the maid of Isolde and uh, Corn Corvinal the companion of Tristan, they both are spying outside and they are acting as signals to of uh, they need to indicate when someone is approaching and uh, soon King Mark and his companion Millet they approach and uh, um, Corvinal was lucky enough that uh, he uh, he managed to just uh, escape from that situation with Tristan being in a uh, severely wounded case and then out of the ca castle uh, where they took refuge some at some place a shepherd inquires about the condition of uh, Tristan and then uh, Corvinal replies that it is only Jolde who can cure him with her magic arts and save his life and he offers his services that I can blow a cheerful tune from my pipe whenever I see a ship approaching and but uh, for uh, for several minutes for several time uh, they kept on hearing a mournful sound mournful sound and um, they kept on hearing a mournful sound which reminded Tristan of the fight uh, he had with Morol and he wished that he should not have been saved by Isolde at that time uh, and he should have been killed at that time rather than suffering now. And meanwhile Isolde arrives and he just, uh, Tristan just took off tears of his bandages and uh, his wounds are bleeding and he dies in Isolde's arm. And after uh, that moment, another uh, sound is heard. Uh, another tune is heard by uh, by Corvinal, and he uh, he gets the clue that it might be King Mark and his army who has come here to kill all of these, all of them. So he barricades the gate of that place. On the other hand, the maid of Isolde, she is trying to explain the thing. She wants to tell uh, them that the King Mark is not here for any revenge and all, but he is there to uh, pardon the lovers. But uh, at the end, both of them, Tristan and Isolde, both of them die. And how it is related to the wasteland? Uh, because the coming section we are going to read in this the poem, it refers to it refers to those lines where where the loved one uh, where the girl and the hyacinth girl feels when she hears the death of beloved sailor so it refers to that an indirect uh, relation of this can be like that uh, uh, tristan wanted to die instead of suffering now similarly if we talk about the wasteland the people of wasteland as we read earlier parts in burial of dead that they were quite comfortable in their stagnant state. They were comfortable with their miseries. And they did not want 
those sufferings which lead them to betterment to their welfare so this is um, the relation of this reference to the poem assalamu alaikum i am askar butul from uh, uh, 6 semester b section uh, top my topic for to- today's assignment is tristan and azelida by wagner Uh, coming towards the main story it is uh, about the story this story is about the legend of tristan and isolida in uh, is the tragic tale of two lovers fated to share a forbidden but undying love uh, the legend uh, tristan is the nephew of king mark of cornwall and was a symbol of all the virtues of chivalry including bravery and honor According to the most detailed version of this legend the king of Ireland sent a champion named Mor- uh, Morholt to demand tribute from Cornwall and Tristan fought Morholt in a uh, in single combat combat Tristan killed Morholt leaving broken piece of his sword in the fatal wound and uh, similarly Morholt had wounded Tristan as well and when the wound did not heal the young knight went to Ireland in disguise to seek help from an Irish princess named Isolda who was skilled in healing so their loves begin their like this there are uh, four major characters Uh, we can say in this story that number one is uh, Tristan, the protagonist, uh, the courtly son of uh, Rivalin and Blanchefleur. He is orf- orphaned at birth. He is uh, he is reared by the uh, rural, rural and the faithful until he joins King Mark's court after he escaped from Norwegian kidnappers. he serves uh, his lord well by killing duke morlet and winning the hand of isolida the fair for mark the other main character is isolida uh, isolida the fair is the wife of king mark and the lover of tristan another uh, third correct major character is the mark mark is the uh, vacillating king of cornwall he is uncle of tristan and co-colded uh, Uh, husband of Isolda the fair uh, uh, the last important character the fourth one is is the character of uh, Morlot duke morlot he is the brother of queen isolda when uh, he is killed by uh, tristan when he demands tribute from uh, cornwall for ireland there are uh three major themes in the story that is theme of love theme of tradition and theme of royal life theme of love it is uh, is the main and the most prominent theme in the story it is forbidden and unexpected because tristan and isolda drank poisoned wine that was made for isolda and king but deep and and true as far as the couple couldn't hold their feelings inside the and weren't afraid of being revealed then tradition uh is the old, uh, only person who goes through most of the uh, traditions uh is the king mark it is the second theme he was betrayed by the closest people tristan and isolda their love to each other broke king's heart and he couldn't think that his loyal soldier and friend tristan would lead away his future wife then comes the theme of royal life the author breaks people's expectation about the seemingly luxurious life of royalty the story shows that this uh, that such life is often worse than the life of ordinary people it has specific and cruel rules and traditions coming towards the influence of uh, this story on the wasteland uh, to some extent the story of the tristan and the isolda reflect the ts elliot's life he caught his wife in an affair with his best friend much like the king mark found his bride to be in an affair with the most trusted knight elliot is an avid fan of wagner's long before he discovered that affair and uh, while many cr- uh, critics have avoided discussing wagner's influence on the wasteland and on elliot's in journal however it to ignore wagner's wagner's vast influence on the elliot is to ignore the fact that elias wo- elliot was obsessed with wagner's work especially uh, tristan and azulida 
Eliot put so much importance on it that when he first published The Wasteland, he placed before it an article by Sturge Mori, uh, Sturge Mori um, titled as The Story of Tristram and Isolida uh, Isolt in Modern Poetry. So from this we can uh, check that how much this wasteland is influenced by uh, Wagner's work. The reference from where I uh, have done my this assignment is uh, from Angel's Fire and the Great Server. Thank you. Uh. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Imbiza Fasan. I'm from Group A. And um, the opera that was assigned to me was of Tristan and Isolde. And um, about them, the, this is basically a German opera. And what happens in this that the story plotline is uh, goes like that there's um, a woman and her name is uh, Solde and uh, she was actually promised to King Mark in marriage and so what happens is that his adopted son his name is Tristan he uh, actually goes to bring um, that girl to his um, uncle in marriage so he goes to pick her up by ship but what happens is that uh, on the ship um i saw this actually very much sad and depressed the reason being that her fiance was killed um by tristan which at that moment she doesn't know she'll figure that out later and uh, the she actually um she had that she had a chance to um kill tristan but then what happened was that she actually promised him that you will not return back otherwise i will kill you and so this is the reason um tristan actually tristan in fact doesn't know that it's i sold in the ship either so what happens is that um i sold it doesn't want to get married to king mark and she feels like she wants to just um you can say in German there's this line but I can't read that so um she just wish, wishes that the sea was would rise up and just overwhelm the ship and kill her and kill everyone on board so what happens is she orders that the captain of the ship should come to her and uh, in the end almost towards the end when they're about to reach their destination he comes to us whole day and um that's when she figures out that it's him and she tells that um both of them um in order to um you can say um in order for atonement that both of them should drink the poison right and then what happens is that tristan and um, both um sorry tristan and both as all they drink um half of uh, half of the poison but what happens is that her mate whose name is Bragne. Uh, Bragne. Now, her maid actually, after they drank the poison, tells her that it was actually a love poison because she didn't want to both of them to die. So this is why she just changed that into that poison. Now, what happens is they reach their destinations and they go to the palace. Um, they both fall in love with each other. And um, once... Um, the king mark was actually um on some campaign and what happens is um they spend the night together and in the morning um tristan's own um you can say his his friend or his um his you can say his best friend now his name was millet now he what happened was he exposed both of them to prince um sorry to king mark and in return king mark felt betrayed and disappointed and he was very sad that this happened so what happens was what happened was that later it's figured out that millet himself is also in love with iceland so both of them fight tristan and millet and what happens is tristan is injured um, he boards the ship he goes away and uh, well after that <coughs> Uh, Mallet is um, 
Melot and Prince and King Mark come over, but both of them, Tristan actually thinks they're here to kill him. But what happens is that before both of them arrive, Isolde also arrives on the ship. Now he, Tristan actually because he's severely wounded, so he dies on the ship, um, in Isolde's arms, and that's when both of uh, both the king and his friend come. But what happens is there's a fight between another savior of uh, another confidential friend of. Tristan and Millet, and both of them die in the fight. So, um, Isolde is actually uh, very sad, and she died. Oh, and that's when King Mark also tells her that I've actually come to unite both of you, but Tristan is dead. And soon after, a few minutes after that, Isolde also dies. So, that's the end of the. Um, the story, the main themes or the relation between that theme between Tristan and Isolde is that some of the German the German lines the um, the German lines in the um, the wasteland as well and the Tristan and Isolde is actually written in German so some of the German lines are very much resemble um, the wasteland number one number two there's a tone of pessimism in that. There's no happy ending, same as the case in the burial. There's no happy ending as well. Then you have that. Um, also, the another major thing is that, um, the major section of um the wasteland covers this um, uh, all of uh, this whole story, the crux of the 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 crux of Tristan and Isolde, that um sailors go and they go to the sea and then they die there over there, and then the death of a Heinz girl um Heinz girl to um that she hears that or she receives this um, um news that her husband her beloved husband was on was a sailor and he was on sea but what happened he was on sea and then he died and um, this was so this actually mirrors that her soul was actually dying to what happened was that I saw there was actually sad that Tristan died and this is what happened they both died on the sea in meaning that near the sea on the land so um this actually mirrors the main uh, story or the main character or highlights the main um you can say the most common point between the wasteland and um tristan and solde that's it thank you hello everyone my name is fizza and the name of my story is tristan and isoleda by wagner Summary of the story Tristan is bringing the Irish princess Isoleda against her will to Cornwall to become the bride of his uncle King Mark. Isoleda is fiercely angry. Tristan has not only killed her beloved Morald but has tricked her into healing Tristan's wound afterwards. Isoleda asks her attendant Brangain to prepare a death potion for her, but Brangain prepares a love potion instead, and both Tristan and Isoleda drink it and immediately fall in love. Later, as they secretly meet, they are betrayed to King Mark by Tristan's friend Melot, and Tristan is fatally wounded in a fight. Tristan now wants only to die with Isoleda, and ultimately he gets his wish as Isoleda joins him in death after singing a famous final love death theme of the story the main theme is love it is forbidden and unexpected because tristan and isolata drank poisoned wine that was made for isolata and king but deep and true as far as the couple could not hold their feelings inside were not afraid of being revealed the author shows us how love changes people and make them do crazy things it can be hidden and forgotten this love is passionate and tragic because it makes the main character to die the second theme is the theme of royal life the author breaks people's expectations about the luxurious life of royalty the story shows us that such life is often worse than the life of ordinary people. It has specific and crew rules and traditions. The main characters in the story is Tristan, Isoleda, King Mark, Brangain, 
Millot, Young Sailor, Shepherd, and Chorus. The summary is from Seattle Times. Characters are from Stage Agent, and the themes are from Grade Saver. Thank you.